In today's health headlines, ankle injuries unique to skateboarders, what to know about roller skating and bone fractures, and what to consider before wearing flip-flops. Joining me is Dr. Ariana Janakos, Yale Medicine foot and ankle orthopedic surgeon and assistant professor at Yale School of Medicine. Welcome. Thanks for having me. You bet. All right, people are getting on their skateboards more this time of year. What unique injuries do you see? Yeah, so there are a lot of common skateboarding injuries. And whenever a patient comes in and tells me that they're skateboarding, I always cringe just a little bit because I know these are high risk patients. Oftentimes we see head injuries and trauma like concussions. In addition, a lot of upper extremity injuries affecting the hand, wrist, shoulders, particularly when a patient falls onto an outstretched arm. And then of course my specialty, which is foot and ankle, we see a lot of ankle sprains and even more so ankle fractures in this population. We see these injuries when skateboarding skateboarders lose control and fall, when they run into a car or a hazard or another skater, maybe they skate on a regular surface and try tricks beyond their skill levels. Um, but it's really important just to make sure to wear closed slip resistant shoes, a helmet that fits properly and pads for the elbows, knees and hands. And ankles, it seems like too. Ankles <laughs> too, right? <laughs> All right, inline skating and roller skating are also popular in warmer weather. What is the most common type of injuries from these activities? Yes, yeah, so actually a few of my own colleagues here at Yale did a really nice study and they demonstrated that the most common injuries during inline and roller skating are actually upper extremity injuries. And once again, we, we think about this because in order to fall and brace yourself, you're usually putting your hands out, which can really affect the, the hands, the wrists, the shoulders, um, can result in dislocations and fractures, uh, which can be a real, real problem for these patients. And many people start wearing flip flops as it gets warmer. My husband wears them year round. Um, are they a safe shoe choice for your feet? So, you know, it's you want to be comfortable in the summertime. Um, and obviously, it's always recommended to wear something supportive, particularly if you have maybe a previous injury or an unstable ankle, but that can often be hard in the summertime. Utilizing a slide type of, type of sandal, though, may actually offer you a little bit more support. This, this prevents you from having to grip so much with your toes, um, particularly when you're wearing those thong type of flip flops. Um, in addition, you know, comfortable supportive sneakers are always helpful, um, but if you're going to go the sandal route, find something that might have some arch support, um, some padding in the heel, uh, so that you're able to walk on those uneven surfaces a little bit easier without stressing too many of your joints. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Ariana Giancos. Have a great day.